Hey guys, Scott with another tool thought. This one's going to be real quick. Uh, let's talk about levels. As an AV installer, uh, besides all the other things we do, networks, cameras, smart homes, surround sounds, theaters, blah, blah, blah. We put up a lot, and I mean a lot, <clears throat> of wall-mounted TVs. It's, it's rare that anybody ever sets a TV on top of a piece of furniture these days. And uh, depending on the mount you buy and the quality of the mount, some of them have these hilarious levels built into them that you just can't rely on. Uh, so usually we put a torpedo level on there to try and level it out, but you know, due to the tolerances in the manufacturing from overseas, you know, you can you can level the TV all day long, but it 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 always comes to pass that you put that TV up on the wall and it's crooked. So we use the kind of mounts that have post install leveling to help get around that. But at any rate, we always stick a level on there to try and, uh, you know, try and get it as close as we can. Um, just a couple of the ones that I've used in the past. I really like this Empire level. They make good stuff. Uh, it's longer than usual, as you can see next to the Swanson here. But the problem is the magnets on it are absolute garbage. They hold not at all. Uh, the problem with putting a, a level on a mount is usually there's a very thin lip that you're trying to stick these levels to. And, uh, you know, if you, if you move or jerk the mount at all, they fall off there. So, I went to this. I love this level. It's lighted, and it, it, it's, it's a beautiful level. It works great. The magnets are outstanding. Here's the problem. You're mounting a TV, you got this stuck to the magnet, you know, stuck to the, the plate. You move it just a little bit to get it into position, and this thing falls. Now, I work in high-end homes, and usually there's wood or stone or tile or something below where I'm mounting the TV. This thing falls, <clears throat> and it's got ridiculous, ridiculous sharp edges. Uh, you try your best to, to keep it from falling, and you know, trying to catch it or whatever, but inevitably I've had it once, maybe twice fall, and this corner just ding the dog crap out of a fine finish. Now my criteria for a level is it's got to have good magnets and it needs to be lit. I'm getting older, my eyesight's not as good as it used to be, so I like the lighted feature. So for a long time, I was kind of in the wilderness about these levels until the other day I was at Lowe's and I came across this. The Tough Built 9-inch Magnetic Lit Box Level. Uh, this is the holy grail level for me. It's got awesome, powerful magnets. It's lit, although it doesn't all light up at once. I kind of don't like that feature. I'd rather them both be on at once, but it is lit. And the, 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 the grail for me is these rubber bumper caps. That's what I've been waiting for all along. You know, not that I drop the level a lot, but sometimes it does happen, and uh, that's going to uh, gonna help alleviate damage in somebody's fine finish. Uh, I believe this was $17 at Lowe's. It's a tough-built product. I love their stuff. Just about everything they make is good. Uh, you know, check it out at Lowe's. Check out their product line. Their tool belts are awesome. They clip on and clip off, but... You know, I walked past there the other day, and I saw this, and I was sold immediately. Runs off of two AAA batteries. It's got some nice rubber bumpers. Good, good magnets. Nice vials. Uh, says it's accurate to within .029 or .0005 or uh, 5 millimeter. What is that? I don't, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a good level, guys. Go check it out. Uh... That's going to be it for today. Hope everybody's doing well going into the holidays. I appreciate my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, help me out, man. Subscribe, like, share the video. I appreciate all of you. Have a good one.